Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. On this week's episode, I'm going to highlight for you the vast amount of money that you can save by doing the simple maintenance items on your Jeep yourself. So stick around. Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. I was just Looking at my oil that I purchased here on sale, about to do the 192,000 kilometer service, and I realized I'm about to land on the pivotal mileage of 200,000 kilometers for my Jeep. And I began to wonder, how many oil changes has that been? How many differential oil changes, transfer case oil changes, cabin air filters, brake jobs, all of that kind of thing in the 200,000 kilometers, I have done those maintenance items myself. Now, I've shown a video on how to do each of those things and if you wanted to do it for yourself as well, you could check them out. You'll see that they're actually not too difficult to do. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the total amount of money that you would have saved if you did those things yourself over, say, 200,000 kilometers of ownership. As you can see right here, I would stockpile oil that I would buy on sale and I'm going to show you the kind of money that I spent on the items and then I'll also highlight the amount of money that I saved by doing it myself and we'll come up with a total. Then we could talk about what kind of mods we could purchase with that money that we saved. Let's get started. It was in the Jeep Wrangler maintenance schedule video that I introduced the 8,000 kilometer interval service pattern or 5,000 mile interval service pattern and I showed you the breakdown of the different types of service that occurs over those intervals. For example, every 8,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles is an oil change, tire rotation and brake and fluid inspection. A local dealer will charge $167 for that 8,000 kilometer or 5,000 mile interval service. So if we do the tire rotation, the fluid and brake inspection, and any kind of brake service that's required, we're only left on the hook to pay for a DIY oil change. So for that service, we simply subtract our material charge, which amounts to about $41, and that helps us realize a savings of $126 just for that service alone. But over 200,000 kilometers, we will have done that service 25 times. So that savings is multiplied by 25, which means we realize the savings just on that service alone of $3,150. Let's keep going. The cabin and engine air filter are quite nominal, so we'll leave them out of our calculations and move on to the transfer case and differential oil service. And in that video, we showed that the dealership would charge you for parts and labor $580. We showed that the DIY cost is about $149, which gives you a potential savings of $430. But over our 200,000 kilometers of driving our Jeep, we will have had to do that service four times. So we simply take our savings of $430 and multiply it by four, and that will help us realize a total savings of $1,720 just by doing this service ourselves. Now, almost certainly over 200,000 kilometers, you may need to replace your brakes and your rotors. And I showed you in my DIY brake pad and rotor replacement video how you could save $1,600. So after all that, what is our grand total of money saved by doing the DIY services to our Jeep ourselves over 200,000 kilometers of ownership? Well, let's have a look. Well, after 200,000 kilometers of ownership, and if you do your own oil changes, tire rotations, and fluid and brake inspections, you'll save a total of $3,150. And then if you do your own transfer case and differential oil changes, you'll also save an additional $1,720. And finally, if you do your front rear brake pads and rotors, you'll also save $1,620. This gives us a grand total of savings over 200,000 kilometers of ownership of $6,490. And with your savings, you could put on a lift, get some larger tires and other things. 
Let me know in the comments section the kinds of things you'd buy for your Jeep with the money that you saved. Wow, that is a lot of money that can be saved just by doing your own maintenance on your Jeep. Now the videos I have in my playlist show you how easy it is to do and so you'll save all that money but you'll also get the satisfaction that comes with looking after your own Jeep. If you want to check out those videos in the maintenance playlist on the channel by all means feel free to do so and if you're looking to save even more money check out the product reviews as well. And that'll be it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found that interesting. And if you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up? If you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. And in fact, I'll have a special announcement in next week's video. So until then, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.